Hey everybody, and welcome back to Curiosity Plus. Today we're watching Ever Elementary, Season 2, Episode 11. It's been a while since I watched the last episode, so I really just want to hop into this one, so let's just get to watching. Oh, this week is the readathon! Sponsored by Donuts Pizza. Donuts for reading. Shut up, Janine. <laughs> <laughs> Clear the way, two-time second grade readathon champion coming through. And this belt's staying with the champ. <laughs> yeah, well... Who wants to wear a big belt anyway? Ooh. But uh, I got two signups for After School Podcast Club. Oh, two. Two, wow, that's, that's enough to tango. Right. Behold, our reading wonderland. Figured if I come for the queen, then I best not miss. <laughs> I'm gonna need you's reading nonstop, okay? That means if you're at recess, you're reading. On the bus, reading. If you were at gym class, the sit and reach is now the sit and read. Yes, Felicity. What about when I take a shower? Slide the bar into a Ziploc bag. Now listen, Miss Teagues thinks that her class can outread you, but that ain't gonna happen. Y'all be careful. That equipment ain't cheap. You think just anybody can start a podcast? Please. Oh, you haven't heard of the Coleman Podcast Network? It's a couple of housewife recaps, Banana Mouth, my screenwriting advice podcast, Catch These Fade-Ins, not to mention my ASMR endeavors. But Spotify made me take those down. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait, Nurse Makai, where are you going with these three? They wouldn't stop rubbing their eyes on the playground. One of them said they've been reading this in the bathroom, then gave the book to the other two. It's pink eye. It's always pink eye. Oh, my three strongest readers, why? You told us to read at all times. I did. Your pizza's cooked, Shamenti. <laughs> I genuinely do hope your kids feel better, but you're done. You know what, Janine? Oh, 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 you want to talk about pink eyes, Janine? I'm going to give you a black eye. You could bore Yeah, it's going to be something like that. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> We can come back from this setback, and when we do, it'll make the victory all the sweeter. Because, my little eagles, these are the moments that will define the rest of your lives. You don't want to look back on this week when you're 35 and think, man, if I had only won that reading thing. So what? <laughs> and leave this clown. Mm. Yeah, well, speech or no speech, something is off. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you accusing me of cheating, Teeks? Uh, yeah, only because you brag about cheating all the time. <laughs> hey, 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 now, now, Melissa does cheat from time to time. Yes. <laughs> right? Listen, all I'm saying is I just want things to be fair. And I bet when you watch sports, you root for the refs. I do. You do? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Hi, Mr. and Mrs. Okafor. Hey, come come sit down. Hey, Maya, why don't you go read one of those books I put out? How about I read all the books? Okay. Um, yeah, okay, so the thing is that she brought in her readathon list this morning that you guys signed off on, and I just don't see how it's possible she read all these books just last night. Of course she did. It's just starting to show some initial signs of struggling with reading, and the last thing that I want is for her to get frustrated and then, you know, get annoyed and give up on reading altogether. So I just thought, if we get her tested, we can eliminate any issues she mm -mm -mm. might have with reading. Maya doesn't need some tests. Okay, guys, after rerunning the numbers, it appears that Miss Teague's class read more books than us. Yeah, actually, Mike, can I get your help with something in the hall real quick? Great, you guys keep eating your pizza. Um, can reading feel just like a little tough sometimes? A lot of time. Oh, yeah. You know what? For me, too. Really? Yeah. See, the beginning of each of the words is highlighted. That helps make sense out of the whole word ministry. See, the story's about a little girl who um, had to read things a few times until they made sense. And sometimes some of the other kids would make fun of her. But at the end, she figures out that it doesn't matter how fast or slow you read. Reading's about having fun. See, my teacher gave this to me when I was a little girl, just about your age, and I promise you, I grew up to love reading. You know, that was really nice. I, that was really nice of her. Melissa, I'm sorry you lost. What do you think Jacob's gonna ask you on that podcast? 
No, I'm not doing that crap. <laughs> the winning teacher is determined by whichever classroom reads the most books. And since my second and third grade class are in one room, the classroom, I get to add their totals together, which unfortunately for you means I won. For this Abbott life, here's Clarence and Raheem. So, what questions do you little reporters have for me today? <laughs> my mama says she saw you at the club grinding all up on producer Mr. Eddie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Clarence's mom says she saw you leave together. But that is not true. Hmm. Then what happened? I was outside talking to his friend Maurice. What? Oh. Um. Actually, I would love to hear if you have anything you'd like to add, you know, for journalistic purposes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this episode was brought to you by the Coleman Podcast Network. Yeah, we're still waiting for that answer. All right, so that was the episode, and this episode was all right. Uh, it's okay. It wasn't my favorite episode of the season. Yeah, it was on the lower end of the episodes. Um, but I still enjoyed it. I just didn't really care for it that much. If you, like, if you get what I mean. <laughs> Anyways, if you enjoyed my reaction, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.